For the Beaver Radio Network, I'm Brian Schultz. PSU women's basketball team opened up conference play last weekend. Lost by nine to Duluth. Lost in double overtime to St. Cloud. Then on uh, Saturday, we're joined by Sierra Sensky, a uh, junior post out of Dilworth, Minnesota. We'll start with the Duluth game. You lost by nine. Nine points in college basketball is nothing. Just a couple of possessions. How close were you to winning it? Yeah, I mean, it was really kind of a close game um, the whole time, honestly. Um, we were trying to, we were always once trying to come back, so that was kind of tough and um, kind of got ourselves in a little bit of a hole. But, I mean, nine points is honestly nothing. If you look at St. Cloud, we were down by 14. So, um, yeah, um, it was tough, but I think overall we learned a lot from the game. And, I mean, we, we were happy with how we played, um, just didn't end up getting the win is all. How heartbreaking is double overtime? Yeah, it was really tough. Um, I mean, especially tough watching from the bench, too. Um, I mean, everyone worked their butts off, so it was really hard to see that. And, I mean, it's hard to get a win on the road also in the Northern Sun. But um, I think it's also really hard to beat a team when they shoot 48% from the field. So, I mean, we were happy with both the games this weekend, but just unfortunately we didn't get a win. You played 31 minutes on Friday, 11 before you got hurt on Saturday. Do you like how you were playing before you got hurt? Yeah, I was. Um, I mean, I got in a little bit of foul trouble first half, which was kind of frustrating with the refs. But, um, I mean, coming in to second half, it was a strong start until I went down, which is unfortunate. But um, I was really happy with how the girls finished out the game. What did you work on most this off season to get you ready for the grind that is the NSIC? Um, probably the biggest thing was just getting stronger. Um, I know that was one of my things last year and what me and coach talked about was getting stronger and quicker and being able to last longer during the game. So that was uh, one huge thing. And I stayed here this summer and or a bunch of us stayed here this summer. So, um, I think that we definitely improved a lot and got a lot stronger in the weight room. Can anything prepare you for inside the paint in the NSIC other than just doing it? Um, I mean, there's always working on finishes and working on different post moves and stuff like that. But, I mean, there really isn't a whole lot that can prepare you. I mean, you can look at who you're going against and what kind of play they have. But, um, honestly, you just kind of have to go battle and go to work and just go after rebounds and just finish as much as you can, and that's really all you can do inside. How much have these freshmen uh, uh, grown since the first day of practice until now? A uh, ton. They've grown tremendously. Um, I know one person I talk about is Sid, and she's such a great post to work with and to be in practice with and we get along really well and it's just awesome to have her as a backup post and we play similar so it's really nice to go at each other in practice but um yeah they're all such a great addition to the team and we're super lucky to have them this year what's practice like with the two you banging on each other inside the paint yeah um pretty much every practice we're going at each other so um there's never really a time that we're on the same team but when we are we, we get pretty excited about it but um yeah it's good and we learn a ton from each other so um I think it's good to have each other to just learn more and um to get stronger and to learn to finish and we have that bigger body going against each other so um we can just go off of each other and hopefully finish better during the games and going against posts in our own conference why BSU um, partly because of my major and obviously because of basketball. What is your major? Nursing. It's a good school for that. Um, how much did the academics side factor in over basketball or was it basketball over academics? Um, it was probably evenly both just because it's hard to find a school where you can do nursing and basketball at the same time. And there's not a ton of schools that have a good nursing program. And so probably, I mean, it was really half and half. So. Best of luck this weekend. Thank you.